I suppose one issue that I, I kind of saw you know, at the start of the party, um, you had to make kind of a quite a clear declaration that you know it wasn't a, a you know an anti-immigration party or anything like that. I think in recent weeks, kind of the last few months, we've seen that kind of discourse seem to crop up in Irish politics more, you know, around the direct provision centres being fired on and stuff like that. Has that been a challenge to kind of make sure that you know, I suppose the party isn't. Um, I suppose not taken over is the wrong word you know kind of those views aren't allowed to you know latch on to a new party which has somewhat of more of a black a blank canvas just starting off well, to kind of make well, sure those views are kind of rebuffed. well first of all we are a pro-life party but that doesn't finish when someone's born it, it continues through education it continues with regards to provision of housing with regards to regards to provision of health care and it also continues with regards to provision of a shelter for those in need of refuge from other mm. countries and we've made no bones about it yeah. uh, now there's no doubt that there is a growing uh, unease and yeah. concern amongst many people in Ireland around the issue of emigration there's no doubt that all of the political parties are running away from it I would as ask them to as a topic and I would tell them stop running away from it if you don't address this issue in a reasonable a respectful manner, you're going to suppress it, push it underground, and you're going to push it towards people who are far less yeah. respectful and responsible around these issues. Our view is very simple. There needs to be sustainable levels of emigration in this country. It needs to be managed. Yeah. There needs to be some link between the capacity of the country and the numbers of people coming in. If there's not, there's going to be hardship for indigenous and newcomers alike. But we, like, you know, we're very clear, if a person is coming from a war or from a famine, or from violence and seeks refuge in this country, according to European UN law, we should provide that. Yeah, but I suppose, you know, even those, those comments there, I mean, is that, you know, immigration into Ireland is, is, is relative, compared to say Germany or the UK, is relatively like kind of very low. Is, is, there, is it being kind of conflated with a kind of a, a wider fear or an ease? compared to the actual you know, no, numbers like, of people? I, I wouldn't second guess, and quest, second guess or question the people who are asking these, the, these issues. Now, I'm saying that there's probably a chunk of people out there in, in, in the political extreme who see this as a political opportunity. Yeah. But what I would say to this is, let's have a real and honest debate around it. Let's actually come to some kind of democratic decision about what's the right thing to do in this area. Let's try to you know, um, pull as many people in to support that agreed uh, political uh, spectrum. Um, there is, there is a, a worry out there. Last year, there was about 90,000 people came into the country, and about 25,000 of those were uh, returning Irish. Um, but there were 18,000 houses built last year. Yeah. And many people, especially from working class areas, may feel that they're competing for those scarce resources with newcomers into the country. Now, our view would be the reason those resources are scarce is because Leo Varadkar and Fine Gael have actually withdrawn from their investments into uh, housing and, and infrastructure in the last period of time. If there's someone to blame, it's Leo's uh, policies that is to blame. But for, for us, we need to make sure that we have a sustainable, managed immigration policy that matches capacity and numbers. Yeah, that's great.